Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of GameSpot Plays. This is Randolph here, and today we are playing through Dark Meadow. It's a new game out on the iOS. It's a first-person action game from Phosphor Games, and this is very much in the play style of Infinity Blade. So if you play that game, uh, you'll know that all the combat in that is essentially gesture-based. It's you know a modern take on punch out where you move left and right to avoid enemy attacks before attacking them yourself. And this is exactly the same uh, mechanic here in Dark Meadow. Now obviously uh, you're not set in a medieval world in Dark Meadow. This time around you are you wake up in the ruins of Montclair Hospital. It's a big mystery as to who you are or what you're doing there. Uh, you'll initially meet an old man who will guide you through the game, mostly um, by speaking to you through the intercom. And this game is really all about exploring the, the world, the, the, the inside and outside of Montclair Hospital, with your goal being to beat that white figure there, the, the, the mysterious white witch uh, who is the big baddie of this world. So she is pretty powerful. You can't just you know go to her straight away and, and, and expect to kill her. You'll have to wander the corridors and rooms, level up by, by fighting other beasties, and um, a lot more... Uh, other aspects to the game such as you know leveling up your character and also buying new weapons to to help you out so let's uh, actually kick things off now um, every time you actually uh, die or start uh, a new game in Dark Meadow you will wake up in this same uh, room so there really isn't a death uh, same as Infinity Blade you don't really die you just start again from another age so here is the starting model well, again usually the, um, the old man speaks to you it's a drag, isn't it, ending up trapped in a hospital like this? Seems like no one ever wakes up trapped in a nightmarish candy store. Or what about a bacon factory? Wouldn't that be something spirited away by sinister forces and deposited into a bacon factory from which there is no escape? Oh, I miss bacon. A few years back, I found a tiny packet of fake bacon sprinkles, you know, for salad. Every Christmas, I let myself eat just one. At least, it's whenever it feels like Christmas. I had to use up all the calendars when I ran out of toilet paper. So, as you probably heard, this guy, we're not quite sure if he's, you know, a good guy or a bad guy. He is trying to help. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not completely sane, but he will be your guide through uh, most of the world. Now, um, as you also saw, um, I was moving the camera around. This is simply done by just essentially dragging your finger across the screen so you can look up, down, left, right. Um, you also saw that there were a bit, there was some money to be found. So, for example, there's some money there that I just picked up. Uh, there's a lot of rooms, uh, essentially, that uh, money and other objects are hidden. So let's um, let's just walk through. The actual movement in the world is um, is easily handled as well. Uh, every time you see a little green blob, you can essentially tap on that, and you'll move the character forward to that spot. So let's just go to this spot right now and try and get into a fight. And here's a fight. So the, I guess the the, the big. Uh, the big difference here from uh, Infinity Blade is that you do have this melee, uh, sorry, range weapon. Uh, you start off with a crossbow, and I'm failing my dodges here quite spectacularly. So if you have played Infinity Blade, you'll know that all you have to basically do is dodge left or right depending on the enemy's attacks, and once they're open, you just uh, start swinging yourself. And that essentially is, and that essentially is just uh, by moving left or right, and I keep failing this guy's dodge. So each time you do defeat a enemy, you will level up, you'll gain experience, and you will also gain some gold. I, I'm in a bit of um, health trouble right now, so let's see if we can use some um, some health. 
and there you go. Uh, in this menu here, essentially, every time you level up, you'll be able to assign more points to different stats. Uh, some pretty basic stats here that you'll find in, in, in most sort of RPGs. You'll also be able to buy new equipment, so that includes swords, obviously. So all different types of swords here. Crossbows. And once again, crossbows are pretty powerful. Uh, if your aim is good enough, you can actually take out an enemy character before they even get close to you. And amulets. And amulets here are essentially uh, a way for you to increase your health and other, and get some other stats boosts. So let's now go back to the world. What I wasn't able to show you in that last fight a lot was the... Uh, um, how to use the crossbow, so we'll try and get into another fight and we'll see, here we go this guy's just gonna run at me and explode and I did not get him in time so now, let's now move forward it's worthwhile exploring all the little nooks and crannies here try and use the crossbow again, once again here we go, and he'll also do um, range attacks as you as well, and you'll just need to dodge him, it's pretty simple to aim and shoot this thing, and as always, you dodge left or right depending on which way the attacks are coming, and when the screen says attack now, such as now, you attack. So doors with some bursts on them usually have some items that you can try and find. So it's always helpful to try and um, to go into sunburst rooms. And more often than not, you're actually, uh, you won't actually be attacked in those rooms. So it's a good place to try and explore and find equipment or, or money, essentially. So let's try and get into one last fight before we close off this, uh, this game spot plays. As you can see, the... Um, some of these uh, creatures are pretty simple, some of them are more complex than others. Now this is all done off the Unreal Engine, which is why it's looking pretty good. And I keep failing that dodge. That is it. That is our look at Dark Meadow. This game is now out on the Apple App Store. Just a word of warning though, this is a pretty hefty download. It's over a gig, so make sure you're not doing it over a phone network.